Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we have some crazy news and rumors that are flying around all throughout today. As you guys probably know, Steam is probably one of the most influential parts of PC gaming, to the point where pretty much every PC gamer at some point, if not currently as of right this second, has Steam on their, well, computer. If you guys, for whatever reason, know we have a lot of console people on my channel. If you guys don't know, and I can show you guys really quickly, Steam is basically just what like you use to go and buy games and play games and launch games and publish games on the PC platform. Now, we usually have the same thing for, say, for Xbox. They have like their Xbox store on the console, PlayStation, PlayStation store on the console, the Switch on the console. But as well, we even right now, we're seeing people like PlayStation launching their PlayStation games on Steam. Or as well, just like, you know, it's just a big platform. Probably one of the most influential things for especially broaching into the PC market. And right now, we're seeing rumors that Xbox themselves are trying to go and buy Steam. Now, there is not the most validity to the statement. We're hearing a lot of rumors on this in the first place, although I kind of feel like legally is maybe hard to pull off. So we're going to go talk about the fact that Xbox could potentially, at least in my opinion, ruin PC gaming as a whole, and how this is probably not going to go through. But either way, this is a crazy topic to talk about. So let's go talk about it. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. We have the Twitter and Twitch room down below if you guys want to follow. And of course, let me know your thoughts and comments on everything down below so this is gonna be like a really quick rehab but i'm hoping to god most of you guys know what steam is so also i did go get a haircut uh if you guys are kind of curious like basically for almost any type of pc gamer there's this thing called steam i myself have been a steam user for a bajillion years if you're a pc guy itself you like it and when it comes to this it's a big business or we even see over here that Valve, the company that owns Steam, was valued at $7.7 .7 billion a few years ago. Now, I still think in my mind that that's way, 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 way low, especially considering how influential it is on the PC side, especially as even more and more game companies, Xbox or PlayStation, want to go and move on over to expand the PlayStation, or not play PC from, say, PlayStation. And, well, if you guys have never seen it, it's just basically like you just buy everything. They have their Steam Deck, which has been very, very good. They basically go buy any game you want. They have the library, and they have just everything. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm surprised if some people don't know what it is, but you guys can look at my Steam library. I have way too many hours in certain games, like Counter-Strike. I don't want to go and talk about it, but we have spent a very long time playing games like this, or Dota, or whatever. But anyway, this is like where you make money. They basically, they're like the hoster, like a PlayStation store or Xbox store, and you basically go make money. They have things even like RuneScape and other various games, all launchable all throughout Steam. Now, it's kind of a big thing to note because this is, like I said, the most influential part of the PC market. But right now, there's been rumors that Microsoft is rumoring to prepare a $16 billion offer to buy Valve, inquire Steam, and people are obviously kind of against this first and foremost. Because right now, Steam has been probably one of the more, I would say, well-accepted companies in the gaming sphere. They have a really nice refund policy for pretty much every game between, like, two hours launch or if there's big major issues such as even Helldivers. They are usually very down to help facilitate refunds. And as well, they've had their own popular games, Counter-Strike 2, Counter-Strike, all those various games, uh, Half-Life, I'm sure you guys have heard the memes, Dota 2, etc. And at the same time, they just basically are in publishing for everywhere. As I even mentioned, PlayStation has released all their releasing games, and this is on Steam, so Steam themselves are taking a cut off of it as well. A lot of indie games are on here, and Steam itself as a platform has slowly developed into the most integral thing for gaming. And Microsoft wants PC players. We know this because they switched from Xbox Game Pass to Microsoft Game Pass to Game Pass, and they even had PC Game Pass, which they were trying to go push to remind people on PC, you can go and utilize Game Pass. And at the same time, like, this is horrible. I think Steam right now, is special. Steam right now is a private company. If you guys don't know the difference, private companies are like some random guy in his garage, makes the company, doesn't really get equity, like, like they still hold over 51% of the company privately, so they can do whatever they want. They can make whatever rules they want. They can go and expand the company how they want. They can go and charge whatever they want. They have their own margins they want. But typically, there's two big issues. Whenever a company gets sold, to a different company, they usually try to change the company to make profits. A good example is Twitch. Uh, Amazon bought it. They try to go make profit. They run a lot more ads. Uh, Reddit, they try to go make it uh, public. They try to go make more money off of users, etc. So if Steam themselves were to try to go in and say make it public or be bought out, the company itself wants to make the money back. Think Activision, where they're going to try to go put that into Game Pass, maybe add more microtransactions, try to go and make more sales or whatever it might be to make more money and utilize that to make the money back they spent. Because once they own it, they can do whatever. And this is going to be bad. I myself think Steam should always be independent. And there is a few little legality issues with this as well. 
there was a lot of pushback when it come, came to them buying Activision, that $70 billion deal. And I'd probably imagine right now, especially in the gaming sphere, and more so in the cloud gaming sphere too, because that was a big hindrance, I don't think many companies, especially these big government bodies like the CMA, SECs, and all these like American-based like antitrust laws, would probably allow this. Because this would pretty much give them complete control over everything. Like this is basically buying the PC market, and I think even $16 billion is way too low. If I had enough money without any doubt in my mind, if I had if I even had to pick the option of current price points, I would pick Steam over Activision any day. Any day. Any day in my mind. Even if it was a $16 billion, $70 billion for a long term, five years. You ask me what I'd want five years from now, Steam. You want me to know what I want to have 20 years from now? Steam. As of this current second, Steam. Because I think a $16 billion evaluation is very low for the amount of active users that Steam has. Now, as we kind of go through some of these two as well, they're saying their annual gaming revenue is $8.56 billion from, say, from 2022. That is so much money because it's basically a free, for, like, it's good cash flow. It's profitable, and that's one of the biggest things. Yeah, it can maybe be bigger, but if they want to push margins or whatever, but they're making a lot of money. Uh, they're making a lot, a lot, a lot of money, too, as well. Even people are curious on this one. Because there was also microtransactions for, like, Counter-Strike, Dota, whatever. But also all these cuts from them selling even games like Call of Duty up on Steam. And this is where things get scary. Because they're saying, they're basically saying, we want to give you all cash, sell us your private company on top of this. And this has been in discussions for a while. We've been seeing stuff from, like, back in the day. They've discussed this. And these rumors are now floating around from a lot of somewhat, I would say, variably, like consistent people out there in the gaming sphere. And this is why it's crazy. Because right now, as a private company, they own so many PC users. I almost want to Google this really quick, saying how how many monthly users are there on Steam? And this is pretty much a good indication over here. Uh, according to their latest data, there are 132 million active users on Steam, as referenced from December 27th. So what would Xbox do if they bought Steam? I will say there would probably be some benefits, maybe a way better proper package because they'd have a lot more leverage with indie studios and these mid-tier studios that are not maybe exclusively working with PlayStation or Xbox, but it would also have a lot of leverage for Xbox itself because you have Xbox, which people would work for just because they're Xbox, then PC, which would people would work on regardless, and then also kind of lets them go have a big, more competitive towards Epic, uh, which basically, if you guys know, PlayStation has done a lot of big investment rounds into Epic Games which also the Epic Store and all that. So that would be a really big competitor towards PlayStation, but this is insanity because this would be millions upon millions of users that would open up to a brand new Game Pass user base, which is sick, but as well, millions upon millions of users who would just be on PC already. They're already there. You plug and play, it gets owned by Xbox or done. Now, as I mentioned, I don't think this is going to come through. I don't think so. Like, they're making a lot of money. Gaben himself, who's been an online meme, is worth apparently over $4 billion. Like, once you kind of hit past a certain, like, $100 million mark, you don't need more money. Like, you probably have more, like, love and passion towards the company you've built and control over it and basically go down as, like, a legacy thing versus, like, making more money. Because it's kind of like Notch. Like, I think Notch regretted it. He sold Minecraft, a lot of money, bought a huge LA house, $50 million. But he's been really sad, depressed, and I don't think he knows what to do with his life. And at a certain point, once again, if you're worth billions of dollars, I guess this is a cash-flowing, positive company. They can give him bonuses and anything he wants. He can buy anything he wants, pretty much. He's like the king of the PC world. So why would you want to sell it for even more? And Xbox is not the best platform. Like, I don't want to be a hater. I like Xbox, but their Xbox apps are horrible. You have to sign in there. You, you basically have to sign in from Bethesda, even if you're launching it from Xbox. Like, it makes no sense. They have not introduced things well. They have made the system sloppy. I hate the Windows Store and Microsoft Store, Xbox Store. It's horrible. Like, the actual apps on these things are fine, but it's just so convoluted. It's not the worst. Like, I could figure it out. But it's like those things where, like, I groan when I have to go launch it. And I just don't think it's going to pass because $16 billion, they can afford it. But at the same time, I just don't think he'd want to sell it. Like, Gaben is, like, true to his true. He has the morals. He wants to make people enjoy, like, platforms. Although we have been hearing rumors, too, that Steam on Xbox consoles might finally be coming, which might be a better partnership. I think for Steam and Xbox, that'd be a win. I think gamers would be happy. You launch any game you want on Steam, and basically Xbox is more of, like, a PC than PlayStation. And you can play any game you want on Steam or cloud streaming and all that. Now, that would be a win. That'd be a huge, huge trade-off, but I don't think that they should sell. I think Xbox would ruin it, and this is kind of scary, and thankfully it's just rumors at this time, but usually rumors do have a little bit of merit, 
in some regard. So the Twitter and Twitch room down below. I appreciate you guys all very much for watching. And uh, give me your thoughts and comments and everything down below as well.